Okay, so uh, in here, we are going to see the structure of A, B, C, D and the equations that you have written just now. So this is the structure for A, B, C and D as we have deduced just now, okay? So uh, as for the equation part, so the equations, um, you have to write out the five equations as I highlighted. So you first benzene react with CH3COCl in AlCl3 to form the uh, acetophenone. And then the acetophenone react with the CH3Br plus FeBr3 to form the uh, this uh, methyl acetophenone. And then the, when it undergoes oxidation, uh, you form a two uh, carboxybenzoic acid, dibenzoic acid. And then uh, you also react with the sodium carbonate to form uh, salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. And finally, the esterifications for the reactions, you should also write in there. So here you go, all the nine marks for this part 2A in here. Then we continue to 2B, propose the mechanism to show how A can be converted from a benzene and ethanol chloride. So you have to propose the mechanism for the reaction. Of course, every time when I and when you are about to explain the mechanism of the reaction, I will usually advise you all to uh, write out what is the type of reaction. So the type of reaction is an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So um, first steps of the reaction is to, first step of the mechanism is how does the electrophile is first formed. So by using the catalyst of AlCl3, so I undergo heterolytic fissions in here. So to form a electro, strong electrophile of these uh, carbonyl ions, and then you form the intermediate of these tetrachloroaluminate ions. Then the carbonium uh, cations will attack the benzene ring. Okay, so uh, you form the intermediate which is like this. So you have to show the intermediate as uh, illustrated for you in the diagrams in here. So uh, you cannot use the half circle arrow anymore in STPM. We do not accept any more of that uh, mechanism. And finally, the ALCL3, the theta aluminate uh, ion form just now, uh, allows the deprotonation to take place to form your desired product, which is the acetophenone plus HCl plus ALCL3 as the side product. So in here, the slow and fast step is possible. Try your best to write out, okay? So these are the step-by-step -step mechanism of how you should be able to propose whenever you are writing for the uh, mechanism for these uh, reactions in here. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to uh, understand the mechanism. So if you want to see more mechanisms, including nitration, uh, alkylations, you can uh, and also halogenation, you can visit to my YouTube for more information. So with that, that is how you solve question number two. Then we go to question number three. Paraamino benzoic acid papa is commonly found in our human body, which can generate from bacteria found in the intestinal tract, such as E. coli. Structure of the papa is given below. So this is the papa. You have a nitro benzoic acid. Propose a reaction scheme to show how paraamino benzoic acid can be prepared from benzene. So uh, in here, if you look carefully at the structure in here, this is NO2 and this is COOH. So if you're already aware that both of them are what we so-called as a meta director. So if you want a meta director to be located at a para position, so one of them must definitely come from an auto para group before becoming a meta group. Okay, so in here, undoubtedly, the ones that first become an auto para group before become meta group is the COH. So you need to form CH3 first before becoming COH. So uh, to some of the very good students, you should be able to figure out on how to synthesize this PABA. Starting from benzene, you react with CH3 uh, Br with FeBr3. Actually, can be also CH3Cl in AlCl3 also can anything as long as the reagent and conditions are correct. Then you form the intermediate of the methyl benzene. Then methyl benzene, you do not oxidize first. Instead, you put nitration first. So that because CH3 is an auto para director. So now, uh, once you have CH3 uh, methyl benzene uh, as a compound form, so you put nitration by using concentrated nitric acid followed by concentrated sulfuric acid under reflux. So you form the nitrotoluene, okay, para nitrotoluene. Only then you undergo oxidation by using KMnO4 slash H plus under reflux, you form the uh, para compound. Okay, so usually in this case, uh, uh, each of the structure proposed in here is one mark. So like one, two, three, four, five. So these are how the five mark is given inside here. So each reagent condition one mark, each uh, intermediate one mark. So usually this is how STPM will marks in here. Then we go for 3B. 
Industry PABA is often used as a starting materials to synthesize polymeric products such as polyhydroxybenzoate. So the monomer used to synthesize such polymer is given below. So this is the monomer. So starting from the para amino benzoic acid, propose a reaction scheme to how do you synthesize this um, polyhydroxybenzoate. So the monomers in here. So again, how are you going from starting from PABA to become the COCL? So first of all, you are usually will advise you all to start with the reduction. So the reduction in here only uh, involve NO2 because in this case, we are not using a strong reducing agent such as LiLH4. So a COOH will not be affected, okay? So only NO2 are able to form NH2. So you form COOH2, para-amino benzoic acid. Then this para-amino benzoic acid, so it's up to you. But usually we recommend you all to synthesize the uh, uh, hydroxyl group first. So you use any NO2 in HCl followed by zero to five degrees Celsius. You must write out this intermediate. Uh, this is uh, benzene diazonium ions. Okay, benzene diazonium ion. You form this first. Only then you react with water under reflux to form a uh, hydroxyl. And finally, you want to change the COOH to become Cl by using PCl5 or also SOCl2 also can to form your desired product in here. And this, this is the only way to propose this reaction scheme. The reverse methods may cause different results because uh, if you put PCl5 first, uh, probably uh, because of the water, the Cl will also, uh, COCl will undergo hydrolysis back to become the carboxylic acid. So the reaction scheme you must follow as exactly. So uh, that's why sometimes uh, you have to be very smart in planning your uh, synthesis routes in here so that you won't be, uh, you'll be able to uh, propose the correct reaction scheme. You cannot just, because you want one product, then you, uh, you get, you, you only draw what you want. What do I mean in here is, for example, uh, let's say you start from the, uh, from here, you, until you start, okay, we start from here. Uh, okay, let's say you want to pro pro uh, perform PCL5 first. So when you perform PCL5, yes, you form COCl with the benzene ring, okay, NH2, okay. Then you undergo NaNO2 in, H, uh, NaNO2, uh, in HCl, zero to five degrees Celsius. Then you form a COCl, uh, N triple bond N plus Cl minus. Okay, plus minus must be written. Huh? Then you said you put water under reflux. Now, the, the result of these reactions are huh? not only that water will react with this one, benzene diazonium, actually also water will also react with this one. So at the end of the day, you do not get your desired product. You get back your benzoic acid plus uh, OH, which is, <coughs> which is what we want, what we want. So that is why I say that uh, sometimes the reaction schemes that you propose <coughs> may not be correct. Huh? So you have to be careful, uh, plan carefully. Yeah? Okay, so with that, that is for how you synthesize this compound. Then number C, explain the effects towards the re uh, rate of reaction when nitro group is added to benzoic acid. So in here, adding NO2 will decrease the rate of reaction. So NO2 is a ring deactivate group or we say electron withdrawing group. Therefore, uh, adding the equations to the uh, NO2 will form at the meta positions. Okay, so usually this will be the three marks that we'll uh, need to write out uh, because you also need to know what is the possible product that is formed from the reaction because this is a, a ring deactivate group. Okay, so uh, that is how you are going to uh, explain about the rate of reactions. Uh. With that, that is all for question number three. And finally, we go to question number four. Compound A, 2 methyl one phenyl book one in is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. Reaction scheme A are shown below. So this is the reaction scheme. You form A, B, C, plus D, and E. Right, uh, describe the isomerism presence in A, hence uh, draw and name the pair of the isomerism. <clears throat> so in A, it's obviously that you have what we so-called as a cis-trans isomerism, geometrical isomerism. Huh? So you must mention that A exhibited geometrical isomerism as it has a C double bond C surrounded by two different atoms or group of atoms. Then you have to name the cis trans isomer and draw the isomer pair. So this will all be together five marks in here. Huh? Uh, after that, no more already. Huh? Okay. 
Okay, so this is for A, and then B, deduce the structure of the B, C, and D. So uh, the re reaction start from B. The reaction with uh, hydrogen in nickel under reflux is only able to hydrogenate the C double bond C. While benzene, if you want to undergo hydrogenation, you must also undergo at high pressure. So in this case, even though you react with hydrogen in nickel, only the C double bond C and the alkene part react, but the benzene part does not react. So your structure of B must be looking like this. And then followed by this, B uh, to form C and D, this is obviously a chlorination. So you form C and D as a product. So uh, looking at the structure in, in the B, B is an auto para director. So the C and D in here, there's definitely one is an auto, one is a para. So a C and D order may be switched, huh? it doesn't matter. And then finally, E, when you react with HCl, so uh, this one usually will only propose the major product according to the Markov-Nikov rule. So the hydrogen will go to uh, this uh, H, while this uh, chlorine will go to this here. So this is the expected product for E, okay? So that is how you solve for 4A and B. And finally, C, describe the reaction between hot acidified potassium manganate with A and B. Write the equation for the reaction involved. So if you've already forgotten how does A and B looks like, so allow me to draw back what does the A and B looks like. So in A and B, you have CH double bond C. Uh, is it good? <laughs> okay, so C, CH3. Then you have a CH2, CH3. This is A. And then B is a saturated lah. So the difference between uh, reactions of a uh, saturated and unsaturated uh, oxidations, uh, you have to be very careful uh, with the side product form, especially because this one is an aromatic compound. So aromatic compound is definitely, you're going to have this uh, uh, benzoic acid is formed as a side product, no matter how long your C is. But in here, it will still undergo the carbon cleavage in the C double bond C here. Uh. So one of them, because this is a tertiary alkene, so you expected to form a ketones in here. Well, this one you expected to form a benzoic acid. Lah. So you must describe the reactions and write the equation. So A and B will undergo oxidation when you react. Since the questions does not mention that uh, it will undergo what process. So you have to mention that this process is an oxidation process. So both decolorize KMnO4 to form a white precipitate. And then uh, you have to explain the equation of A. So this is the expected product for A where you have a uh, A react with KMnO4 under reflux, you form benzoic acid plus ethanol. And then in A, it undergoes oxidation, uh, oxidative cleavage or bond breaking of C, double bond C. Well, this is the equation of B, where in here, this is the oxidation involving the benzylic position. So you have to describe in this sense, okay? Now, I know it's a little bit hard for you to uh, explain until this extent, but um, this is actually what you are expected to answer uh, for these questions. Uh. So uh, that is how you should able to answer the essay questions for organic chemistry. Of course, there are more and more examples. You can find it in other books. So do try more practices, okay? Okay, so I believe that is all for my selling session for today. So I hope that you'll be able to understand better on how to answer objective question, uh, essay question for chapter three, which is about aromatic compound. And I'll see you all tomorrow in a brand new chapter, which is chapter four. So uh, thank you very much for your visit. If you like this video, please help me to click, click like button. And if you want to further receive notification, please do subscribe and hit notification button, okay? So I guess that's all for our lesson tonight. So see you all tomorrow. Okay, goodbye.